objectives for today. It's going to be standard deviation. And you must know how to add a list of numbers, find the average, divide by the number of numbers, and also be able to find a square root. Here's an example. First of all, standard deviation, here's what you're finding. This is a bell curve and standard deviations. That's a zero standard deviation. And you usually have three on the right that are positive and then three on the left that are negative. A standard deviation of one the distance from here to there is one and from here to there is two you're going to be given a list of numbers and when you find the standard deviation you're going to find out how far it deviates from the mean so with that standard deviation you would start here and you would add it each time to come up with the real numbers that fall underneath that For, ex for example, let's say you had a list of numbers and the average was 10. We'll say the list of numbers has an average of 10. Where that average would go is right there in the middle. Even though your standard deviations are 0, 1, 2, and 3, like that, and then negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3 like that. If your average is 10, it falls underneath the 0. This is standard deviation, but this is the real list of numbers you have. So if your list gives you 10, and you calculate, which is what we're going to do, the standard deviation, if you get a standard deviation of 3, then what you would do is go down and start with the mean and add 3 as you go to the right. So if I add 3 to 10, I get 13. If I add 3 again, I get 16. Add 3 again, it's 19. But what do I do if I go to the left? Subtract. So I would have a 7, and then a 4, and then a 1. The standard deviation is what you're going to calculate today. This stuff is going to wait until tomorrow, maybe the day after. But just for today, you're going to calculate using a formula, standard deviation. And then you're going to use it for this stuff here later on. This is to let you know what exactly it is that you're going to be doing. Okay. Here's an example of the standard deviation formula. Here's a list of numbers, and we'll keep the list small. Uh, 2, 3, and 9. We'll only have three numbers. The first thing you have to do for standard deviation is to find the average. So add these up. 2 and 3 is 5 plus 9 is 14. Average can be noted as X bar. Instead of writing AVG, just write X bar. The average is, or the sum is 14, and we divide by what? Three, yeah. So divide by three and round to the tenths place. Fourteen divided by three is four point seven. So we added up the numbers two, three, and nine, came up with fourteen. There are three numbers in the list, so you divide by three and round to the tenths place to get four point seven. Now here is the standard deviation formula. It looks strange, but it's easy to do. You start out with a summation notation. That means you add everything together that's to the right of it. And whatever your item is in the list, that's xi. So you have three items, and you're going to subtract the mean from each item and square that difference. 
When you're done with that, you divide by n. That's how many items are in the list. And once you add all those together, you find the square root of the result. So here's what it is in simple language. What's your first number in the list? So 2 and subtract the mean, which is 4.7. And then square the result. Whatever you get, square it. Now go on to the second number. Second number is 3. Subtract the mean. 4.7. Square the result. And then you have that last number, 9. Subtract the mean, which is 4.7, and then square the result. How many numbers are in the list? 3. So you're dividing all that by 3. And once you get that answer, you need the square root of what it comes out to be. It simplifies to 28.67, divide that by 3, and you get 9.5, and then 6 repeats. Find the square root, and the standard deviation should be 3.1. In this list, we'll have 6, 5, and 2. We need to find the standard deviation. First thing is to find the average. So 6, 11, 13 is the sum, and divide that by 3. Round it to the tenths place. What is the average? Average is 4.3, so what we need to do is 6, the first item from the list, minus 4.3, square the result, and then 5 minus 4.3, square the result, and 2 minus 4.3, square the result. We have three numbers in the list, so we're dividing by 3, and then at the end, we'll find the square root of everything. The top part comes down to be 8.67. Divide that by 3 to get 2.89. Square root of 2.89 is 1.7. That's the standard deviation. In this practice problem, find the standard deviation. The numbers are 4, 8, and 6. Find the standard deviation. And first we have to add them up. That's going to be 4, 12, and then 18. Divided by 3 is going to give us an average of 6. So we need 4 minus 6 square the result and 8 minus 6, square the result, 6 minus 6, square the result, divide everything by 3, and then find the square root. Now each one of these in here, I'll put these in green, you're going to have a negative 2 squared, that's 4, and then 2 squared is 4, 0 squared is 0. So 4 plus 4 is 8. We will have 8 divided by 3 and then need a square root. 8 divided by 3 is 2.6 repeating. And then we need a square root, which will give us 1.6 rounded to the tenths place. This practice problem will have numbers of 7, 3, and 5. Find the standard deviation, round to the tenths place.